I started day one as an elemental dragon. Yep, I'm definitely not like any normal dragon. I was in some kind of tower. Where am I? I have done it. I have created the elemental dragon. Down! Kill the wizard! Kill the wizard! And whoever beats these spawn now! Else. Elemental dragon, run! I did as I was told and began to run away. I was only a baby dragon with five hearts. As I ran away, a group of them came running at me and I was so scared that I wasn't going to be able to escape. Suddenly, I shot ice breath and froze one of the elves. I can't move. I guess I might be stronger than I look. I continued to run away from the tower and try to flee into the nearby forest, but the group of elves were still chasing after me. And finally, after a while, they caught up to me. Oh, elemental dragon, you're coming with us, you little monster. I started to feel weak, and I knew that I was done for. Break out. Break out. Break out! Ah! I woke up and where am I at? In a cage? Who's that talking to me? Down here, you fool! I looked down and I saw a red aura in front of me. You want to get out of here, right? Let me take care of it for you. The red aura just suddenly disappeared and I felt so much anger growing inside of me. I couldn't hold this in any longer and fire came out of my mouth, burning the cage. I'm free now, but uh, I can't control it. I burned down everything in my way. Uh, someone, uh, Please help me! Ah! Ah! Dragon! No! I saw the elf and stopped the fire. Listen, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. I couldn't hold it in. Yeah, well, well you're a monster, buddy. Just like that wizard. Guys, the dragon's loose! Season. Oh, man. Suddenly, a mob of elves came running towards me. I need to get out of here right now. I ran out of the forest, but the elves were catching up to me. This won't do. I need to lose them. Suddenly, I started to go higher and higher, and next thing I knew, I was flying. Awesome. Now, well, I need to leave this place and fast. On day three, I continued flying until I realized I was starting to feel weak. I noticed that I was starving and I was gonna have to find food quickly. I spotted a group of sheep in a field and landed near them. I didn't have any tools, so I tried to use my fire element, but it failed, of course. Now this guy doesn't want to burn anything down. I had no other option, so I started to attack them with my claws. Since I was a dragon, it was actually more effective than I thought. I took down the sheep and collected their mutton, as well as wool. I started to eat it and I started to feel my strength returning. I heard what sounded like thunder and blasts in the distance. It sounded close by. I had to investigate what it was. I just hope it's the wizard. I flew off towards the sounds, and eventually, I came across him. There he was, and he was extremely happy to see me. Oh, thank goodness you survived. I was worried sick something happened to you. I never formally introduced myself. My name is Iria. Well, it's nice to meet you. I'm still getting used to everything around here. I don't even know why I'm here to begin with. I was captured by those elves, but I was able to summon fire and break free from them. You'll be able to do much more than that. Now come along with me. I can't have anything happen to my special dragon. I still had questions about my origin, so I decided to follow the wizard to see maybe he can tell me more. On day four, we arrived back at his tower. There, he began talking about the world that I was spawned into. More and more people in the world have started to throw off the balance, and it's my job to keep it. Balance? What do you mean, balance? In time, you will understand. I have started to realize I am getting older and will not be around forever. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to keep the balance in the world in his absence. The wizard then uses magic and- Whoa! I have stone tools in my inventory now. I thanked the wizard and flew off to explore the world. Eventually, I came across a nice area that looked like it would be a good spot to build a base. The area seemed different. There was a patch of dirt in the middle of the grass field, as well as trees stripped of their leaves. I didn't have much time to think about it because it was late and I wanted to build a base before sunrise. I began to collect wood. Once I had enough, I made myself a small shelter. I created a crafting table and used it to craft a bed from the wool I got from the sheep. So I decided it was best if I went to sleep to get some rest. I woke up and found myself in the middle of the fields? Wait, what? I could have sworn I was in my base. How did I get here? Oh, last night was awesome, bro. Great. There was another aura in front of me, but this one was green. Who are you? I'm the wind element inside of you. I think. I just need to get some fresh air, bro. Too bad those guys aren't cool with us. Too bad who isn't cool with us? Ah, there's the dragon! Get him! So we can slay the evil wizard! Ah, ah, go, 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 go! Attack! I was surrounded by elves again. How did this happen? And what are we supposed to do? Oh, don't worry, bro. I got this. Wait, no! The aura disappeared, though. And suddenly, I blew a huge gust of wind, and they all flew away. Ah! 
after defeating the elves, I started growing into a full-size dragon. And I've got 15 hearts. Awesome. I was glad that green ore helped me. Or whatever. Why do I keep hearing those voices? And what did that elf mean when he said evil wizard? On day six, I was traveling back to my base. I couldn't get the evil wizard thing out of my head. He's been nothing but compassionate to me. I arrived home and noticed that more of the grass around it had been changed to dirt. Okay, seriously, how is that even possible? I thought grass was supposed to spread, not recede. I looked around and saw that even more of the trees in the area had also lost their leaves. It was like something was slowly affecting the area. Wait, and who's that? It was a villager and it looked like he was moving a group of cows toward the dirt. Once the cows stepped on the dirt, they were killed. Wait, what? I rushed to the villager. Hey, what happened to these cows? <laughs> He began to run away. Hey, wait, no, come back here. I caught up to him and demanded that he give me answers for what I just saw. Wait, you're not going to kill me? But you're a dragon. Wait, what? Why would I kill you? I don't even know who you are. The villager explained to me that he heard the wizard had summoned a beast to destroy the world and assumed that beast was me. Wait, no, no, no. A wizard summoned me, but I wasn't sent here to destroy the world, but bring balance to it. Yeah, whatever you say, buddy. The villager headed back off to his base and thanked me for not killing him. Wait, things are starting to not add up. I need to go talk to Irion about this. I need more answers. On day seven, I arrived back at Irion's tower. I was far too big to fit inside of it now, so I called for him to come out. Thurzo, you have grown so large. Exactly what I wanted from you, exploring the world. He seemed very happy to see me, but I needed answers from him. I began to ask him about all the things I've seen in the world. Now, so many people have been calling him an evil wizard. You have much to learn, young dragon. These things will be explained to you in time. For now, I have a task for you to complete. Wait, no, you need to answer these, but the wizard didn't listen, and he cut me off. There is a port nearby that has been plagued by a vicious sea monster. I need you to help those people and slay the beast. A beast? See, I knew he wasn't evil. All right, sounds good. I'll go get that under control. I prepare to fly off, but Irion stopped me before I could. There is one more thing before you go. I need you to collect the monster's heart and bring it back to me. I need it for a potion I'm working on. Save the people? Bring back the heart. Got it. I set off in the direction of the port. I arrived, and the sea monster was attacking the villagers. Help! Oh, man, I gotta do something to save these guys. We turn this monster into sea food. Burn it to a crisp. It looks like my fire element friend is back, because I started to feel rage within me and blew fire on the monster. But uh, it didn't have any effect. Instead, I ended up burning some of the port. No! We're gonna burn the villagers. Thankfully, this time, I was able to control it, and I stopped blowing the fire. Uh, but, but what am I supposed to do? I think I can help with that. Suddenly, a yellow aura appeared in front of me. Don't worry. You can trust me. I am the lightning element, after all. Just take a deep breath, and let me take care of you. The yellow aura vanished, and I felt calm, like I could do anything. It instantly shocked the monster, dealing a ton of damage. The monster continued to rush at me, and I shocked it again, this time defeating it. All right, and where is it? There it is, the monster's heart. So you said you were the lightning element? How many more of you guys are there? Let's get out of here first and then I'll answer your questions. I collected the sea monster's heart and flew out of the port. On days nine to 10, I let out a breath of electricity and the lightning element appeared in front of me again. We are what help you control your elemental powers, Fozo. We all work with your emotions to help you control them. My emotions? What do you mean by my emotions? I let out a breath of ice and a blue aura emerge. I usually come out when you're afraid. I don't even want to be here. Everything is so scary. There was a blast of fire and the red aura was there too. That guy is such a baby. Oh, he makes me so mad. All right, all right, calm down there, hothead. So I take it you're the angry one. I'm not angry! Fire began to shoot from the aura. Oh man, calm down, dude. I flapped my wings, creating a massive gust of wind and the green aura emerged. Just go with the flow, bro. Free spirit, let it guide you. Don't listen to them. You need to understand yourself more before you can understand us. You know what? The lightning aura was right. I needed to talk to Irion. I looked down and all the auras were gone. I think there's a lot of getting used to I'm gonna have to go through. I continued on toward his tower. On days 11 to 12, I arrived at Irion's tower. He was incredibly excited to see me, especially after I gave him the heart. What is it, Fozo? You look troubled. Listen, I know there's something going on. There's four different elements that are inside me, and each day, I've been seeing more and more of them. You have nothing to fear, young dragon. You are the most perfect entity I have ever created so far. Yeah, but it just feels like something else is going on. Either something's wrong with me, or something's wrong with the world, or... Enough of your nonsense. I have another task for you. There is a village that has been rebelling. I need you to go there and destroy it for me. I thought that goes against what
what we stood for. He didn't listen, and he told me that the village was heavily defended, and I would most likely need some armor upgrades to take it out. He gave me an iron pickaxe and wished me luck on my adventure. Okay, I trust you. I set off from the tower to find a mine. I arrived at a nearby cave and began to look for iron to make myself some armor. After a bit, I was able to mine the materials. I found enough iron to make myself an iron chest plate, as well as a helmet. I started to leave, but I heard some noises coming from the entrance of the cave. The noises sounded way too familiar, and I had a feeling that I knew exactly what it was. I exited the cave and was ambushed by a group of elves. They started shooting arrows at me. It's the wizard's base! We can finally cut it! There were so many of them, and I was trying my best to fight back, but I was overwhelmed. I started to feel so angry and... Stop it! For once, I was starting to agree with the fire element. I started to breathe fire on the elves and burn them. But then he didn't stop there and continued to use the fire on the nearby trees. Okay, stop. What are you doing? Ugh, burn it all. All right, concentrate, concentrate. I need to stop him. Suddenly, I felt much more calm and realized I suppressed the fire element. Okay, it seems as though that I have a pretty hot temper. I flew off toward the location of the village. I arrived and flew over to check what kind of defenses it had. I started to realize that the village didn't have any defenses for a dragon at all. They must have a large army on the ground or something I'm gonna have to defeat. I landed and prepared to fight, but all the villagers scattered, terrified into their houses. Dragon! Run! Oh my gosh! How could these villagers be rebelling if they don't have any defenses or an army? This doesn't add up. I spotted a familiar face peering out of the houses. It was a villager I saw with those herd of cows. I asked for him to come and speak with me, and he slowly exited his house, terrified. Are you here to destroy the village and kill us all? I told him Irion the wizard sent me to destroy the village because they were rebelling. Are you guys trying to throw off the balance in this world or not? The villager looked shocked and told me that they were a peaceful farming village. They had no defenses and only were trying to make a living. Wait, what? Yeah, and plus, our crops are randomly dying and the soil, it's going barren. We're just trying to build more and more farms. Was this the rebellion that Irion had been referring to? I needed more answers. Well, thank you. I'm not here to destroy anything, I promise. I arrived back at my base. Something strange is happening to this world. Oh, and also there's no way I was going to be able to fit inside my home now. I mean, look at me. I went and collected more materials so I can expand it. There we go. That looks much better. Once I finished, I headed off toward Irion's tower. I needed to ask him why he wanted to destroy that village. Once I arrived, he was already outside waiting for me. Was he expecting me? Why didn't you destroy the village like I asked you to, Fozo? But those people were just an innocent farming village. They weren't rebelling at all. You weren't supposed to talk to the villagers. You were supposed to destroy them like I asked you to. I'm also not going to start defeating innocent people, especially if you're not telling me why I needed to destroy it. So let me ask you again. Why? Urion didn't answer. He just began walking back into his tower. Hey, I'm not done speaking with you. Leave at once. Ugh, fine. I arrived back at my base. And there was a villager standing there. Hey, why are you here? The wizard is attacking our village. What? How could that be? I thought he was far too weak to do anything like that. I had to fly there and see it for my Myself. As I was approaching the village, I saw smoke in the distance. The entire village was burning, and at the center of it was Irion and their people. Irion, stop! He didn't listen. He just shot a fireball at me. I should have never created you. You are worthless. Irion continued to attack the villagers with the fireballs. Oh, I have to do something to stop him. I started to attack him with my sword. You don't understand the power I possess. He shot another fireball, and I was down on the ground. He then began to use some kind of spell. Come on, I really need the element's help here. Any help, guys? You don't deserve your elements. There was a massive flash of light, and I heard the voice of the auras flying off into the distance. I noticed that my colors had faded from my body. Irion flew over me and hit me again. I was low on hearts, and I started to black out. On days 21 to 23, I woke up still in the village. I looked around at the destruction that Irion caused. Man, why didn't he take me out when he had the chance? I could have sworn I was done for. But one thing's for certain, he truly was the evil wizard everyone warned me about. So was he just lying to me this entire time? Why did he create me then? I felt so deprived. I had none of my elemental abilities. Dragon, do you see now? All the faces on the villagers said exactly what I was thinking. How could I be so blinded by the evil Irion? I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't know. The villagers didn't accept my apology. Their entire home was destroyed. I offered them that they can at least come stay with me at my base. Despite their reluctance, they agreed, having nowhere else to live. We began to travel back. Once we arrived, I began to go out into the world and gather material for their homes. Once I had enough, we started to construct them. It wasn't as 
nice as the homes they had, but it was something. Thank you for showing us compassion at our darkest times. I knew I had a lot of making up to do, but the villagers were starting to come around. On days 24 to 26, I left my base to go search for the elements. I was flying across an ice biome when I spotted an igloo in the snow. I landed and approached to check out what was inside. Don't come any closer. It was the ice element, and it looked like he was inside of a penguin? What are you doing here? I need you to join back with me so we can stop that evil wizard. I don't want to. He's too scary. Oh man, I need a way to get him back. Come on, think of something, Fozo. Anything. I didn't have long to think because I was attacked by some kind of monster. I tried fighting back with my sword, but I was so weak. Listen, man, I know you're afraid, but I really need you right now. No, I'm too weak to help anyways. I'd only hold you back. You're much stronger than you think you are. I mean, look at you. You're an element. I kept getting attacked and was getting low on hearts. How do I know I won't just mess up? I never take any chances because I fear my own mistakes. Sometimes you just need to jump. Life's about mistakes, but what's important is learning from them. So help me, please. Suddenly, I saw the penguin appear from the igloo and running towards me. I absorbed the penguin and began to use my ice abilities again. My skin even changed. All right, dragon, let's take him down together. Together, we were able to defeat the monster. <sighs> Thank you. I thought I was a goner for sure. I thought I was too, but you made me believe in myself. Days 27 to 29, I was flying back toward my base. I had my ice friend again. I noticed that there was a group of sheep that looked like they could use some help. I flew down and asked them what was going on. The sheep said that they had been dying without any cause, and all the food they had once was slowly disappearing from the area. Well, if you guys want, you guys can come back and live with me. I'm sure I can help you guys out. I took the sheep back to my home and started to construct them a nice pen to live in. I realized while I was gone, the villagers had gone together and built a farm for the base. Well, thanks, guys. It wasn't for you, bozo. We did it for ourselves. Well, at least we had more food. They're going to start liking me eventually. Yes. Yes, it's working. Stronger. Stronger. Now, rise, Malgog. Oh, what is your bidding? On days 30 to 32, I decided it was best to start making things right with all the people I'd done wrong. I flew off from my base. I hope I can find those elves somewhere. I don't exactly know where they were, but I remember they lived in a forest. Once I found a large forest, I started to wander for what felt like days until I spotted an elf. Hey, wait up. The elf turned and saw me and let out a screech. Ah! Before I knew it, there was a group of elves surrounding me. Kill the beast! Do it! It's our fifth chance to kill the beast! Make it count! Wait, no, wait, guys. Listen, I'm here to apologize. I didn't know the wizard was evil, and I want to make things right. The elves didn't seem to believe me, except one who came forward and stood up for me. It was the elf I saved from the fire on day two. He's not that bad of a guy. They agreed to take me to the elf king. We traveled to him, and once we arrived, I apologized. I want to make everything right in this world, guys. Young dragon, you are forgiven. How could you have known your creator was malicious? The elf king told me that they had been researching ways they would be able to defeat him. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe, you are the key in all of this. He sucks the life from Earth and eventually wants to absorb all of it so that he may live forever. Forever? How old is Irion then? This has to be why he spawned me in. Don't worry, young dragon. In time, we will have our answers. The Elf King told me that he would find me if they found a way to defeat him. On days 33 to 35, I decided to get some upgrades for my armor. I headed to a nearby cave to mine. After some mining, I was able to find enough iron to complete my armor set. There was a faint noise coming from deeper in the cave, though. What was that? I need to find out. I began to walk deeper into it. Oh, a diamond. I continued to follow the noises until I entered a massive room. There was a hammer at the center of it, and it- Wait a second, it began speaking to me? Fozo, I have been waiting for this day. Wait, me? How do you know who I am and what are you? He introduced himself as the Elemental Hammer and told me he never thought he would see the day when all the elements were free once again. Free? What is that even supposed to mean? All the elements work together to hold the balance of the world until the evil wizard came and destroyed them all. He absorbed their powers and held them for years. And then he used them to make me. Everything was starting to make more sense. But why could I hear their voices and why can I hear you? All of you guys seem like you have a mind of your own. The hammer ignored me and asked me to take him and use him against the forces of evil. All right, magical hammer. Sounds like a plan. I grabbed him and made my way out of the cave. I need to do something to help these people. <sighs> this will have to do. Leave these people alone. 
Our king has died. Will you please govern our people? Yes, I will guide you to prosperity. A knight arrived at my base. He began to say that the new queen of the kingdom had summoned me to her presence. Wait, what? Hold on, a new queen? I don't know any queens or kingdoms. She claims to be an old friend of yours. The knight urged me to follow him to the kingdom. All right, I'll do as you ask. Maybe this queen will be able to help me find the other elements. Days 39 to 41, I arrived at the knight. The kingdom looked as though it was flourishing. It was a lot for me to take in. I followed him into the throne room. And to my surprise, a yellow deer was sitting at the throne. Are you the... Hello, Ozo. Do you like what I have done with the place? Lightning element? I didn't have time to ask questions as to what was going on. I just started to beg her to join back with me. The lightning element refused and told me that this kingdom needed her more than I did. But you don't understand. The entire world is in danger. Just then, a massive beast broke into the throne room. This kingdom will fall for Erion. Wait, you're working for Erion? I couldn't just stand here. I charged at him with my hammer and began to strike him down. He was barely being hurt hurt by it though. This guy had so much health. The lightning element tried to fight against him too, but she was quickly knocked to the ground. I pleaded for her to join me again. If not, we're both gonna die. No, I know what I am doing. I know everything. That's just impossible. No one can know literally everything. And sometimes it's okay to have help from others. So just please help and let's join forces. Just listen to me, please. Give me a chance. Fine. I think you may be right, dragon. I absorbed the lightning element and my skin had changed. I now had shades of yellow again. The lightning element called out for the ice element to help as well. He allowed me to use his ice breath freezing the monster in its tracks. Because of that, we were able to escape the kingdom. But the monster must have broken free because we can only watch helplessly as he continued to destroy it. Exactly what I was looking for. On days 42 to 44, I reached my base and noticed that the king elf was there waiting for me. Oh, young dragon, we have found something that may be able to counteract the wizard. He then told me that they discovered an item known as the heart of the earth. He said combined with my elemental abilities, it could possibly reverse any damage the wizard has done to the world. Oh, unfortunately, young dragon, the location of the item is unknown, but you may be able to find its location in the lost library. Ooh. Mystery. Okay. I thanked him for the information and prepared to leave. But right before I did, the king elf said in order for the effects to reach all of the world, a massive pyramid would have to be constructed. The pyramid would help amplify the spell. He dropped me a ton of sandstone and told me to start working on it. All right, sounds good. Wait, aren't you gonna help? No. He left my base and I got to work. Wow, thanks. I started to construct the base for the pyramid and quickly ran out of materials. Okay, I'm gonna need a lot more sandstone to finish this thing. That's for sure. I decided decided to stop the work there and headed off to the lost library. On days 45 to 46, I arrived. Okay, look at the size of that. How could anyone possibly lose this thing? It was massive. I made my way inside and realized the place was filled with spiders. They started to attack, but thankfully, I'm a dragon and I took them down. I started to search the library. I wasn't exactly sure what I was looking for, but the king elf believed something had the location here. Over there. The lightning element began to guide me to a section in the library. She wasn't sure how she knew where to go, but I listened to her gut. I came across writings, and they were written by her? Wait, she must have written these before Erion defeated her. I began reading through them, till I found something interesting. Erion grows stronger every day. We fear that soon he will defeat us, and will take the heart of the earth for himself. I brought the other elements together, and devised a plan to seal the heart away. We created a vault and tasked an ancient guardian with defending the heart. We then used our elemental powers to seal the heart away, so the wizard would never never be able to obtain it. Only the purest of hearts would be able to find the vault. The lightning element told me she knew where it was and would take me there once the time was right. All right, well, I guess I had my answer. So I began to travel home. As I was flying over a swamp, the ice elemental told me to land. I sense a presence here of importance. I began to look around for the presence until we came across a large green bird. Wait, this must be the wind elemental. I began my way over to him and noticed that he was being attacked by a crocodile. But the wind elemental used a gust of wind to blow him away. Vibe check, bro. Population you. Oh, what's up, Fozo? Listen, I'm going around gathering the other elements. We need to come together again so we can defeat the wizard. He refused, saying he was having too much fun being free and flying around chill. Come on. I told him he had to join me or else the world was going to be completely destroyed. But still, he didn't seem to care at all. We must unlock the heart of the earth to save the world. We need you for this. Yeah, seriously? I don't care about this at all. Life is good, 
bro. Just relax a little. He then just walked away. I wanted to chase after him, but I assumed there was no changing his mind. That didn't go according to plan. On days 51 to 53, I was flying around trying to find the fire elemental when I spotted a large area of trees that were all missing leaves again. The damage looked a lot bigger than the last time. Arion's power is only growing stronger. I heard a roar behind me, and the beast that was attacking the kingdom was standing there. You will soon perish once the wizard completes his potion and yeah yeah absorbs all life on earth so he can live forever i think we all understand what's happening i definitely made him mad because he rushed at me and started to attack oh no i tried to evade his attacks but he was too fast i had to try and fight back using my elemental powers but they didn't seem very effective on him there was no way i was gonna be able to take him down without the other elements i had to flee i flew off while he laughed at me <laughs> only one more ingredient and the potion will be ready on days 54 to 56, I arrived back at my base and noticed that it expanded. While I was gone, the villagers had built a farm as well as brought back cows to the base. One of the villagers approached me and offered me food. Oh, thank goodness. I'm starving. I thanked all of them for making upgrades to the base. I figured this was a good time to continue working on my pyramid. I flew to the desert and collected as much sand and sandstone as I could. I saw there was a village nearby, so I went to explore it. But when I got close, I realized it was in ruins and there was no villagers left. What happened here? here. Oh man, I need to hurry with this pyramid before all villages turn out to be like that. I returned to base and started making progress on it. It wasn't long before I ran out of sandstone again. I was still in the mood to build, so I expanded my base. It was really starting to look like a home fit for a dragon. I needed to get stronger if I wanted to take down the wizard's new beast, so I flew to a cave in search of diamonds. I mined for what felt like days, but finally had enough to craft some upgrades. I crafted myself a pair of diamond pants as well as a helmet. I flew back to base and went to sleep for the night. It's time, Fozo. Whoa. I was woken up by the lightning element. She told me that I was ready to test if my heart was pure. I'm guessing we're going to the vault then. I flew off following her directions. My mind was still a little busy. I didn't know where fire was and wind definitely didn't want to join me. I need to find them and regain all of my power again. I landed at the front of the vault. I noticed that there were four pillars in front of the massive door. These must be the elemental locks I read about. I used my lightning breath on one of the pillars and suddenly it was ignited with a yellow flame. I did the same with my ice breath and it lit up with a blue one now i just need to find the other two elements and i can enter the vault Get out. i looked around what was that i was unable to see anything hello anyone there yes oh yep someone was definitely there it sounded like it was coming from the other side of the door it must be the guardian i read about too okay i definitely do not want to upset him so i flew off on days 60 to 62 i was collecting wheat from the farm when a farmer ran up to me he was on fire oh! I quickly used my ice breath and extinguished the flame. Hey, what happened? Fire bull! Fire bull? He told me that a bull arrived at the base and was lighting everything on fire. Wait a second. The fire element. I flew off toward the farm. When I arrived, the villager wasn't kidding. Everything was on fire. And there he was. The fire element. <laughs> Burn it all! No, 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 stop it. Stop it right now. But he just continued laughing and saying how angry he was. Listen, please, you need to stop and just join me. But he refused. I pleaded, but he just got more annoyed and started to fight with me. He lit me on fire. I had to use my ice breath to put myself out. I hit him with my hammer and then used my ice breath to freeze him in place. I could tell he did not like being covered in ice and he begged me to release him. He wanted to destroy everything. No, I'm not releasing you until you can see what you're doing is wrong. These people make me so, so angry. But why? Why are you always angry? Because anger is all I know. That's as far back as I can remember. That is what fuels me. Well, that stops today. Just calm down and join me again. Let me teach you how to better control it. I promise you, there's things in life to be happy about too. <sighs> Fine. I released him, and in a flash of light, we joined together again. My skin regained its red shade as well. Now, I just need to convince the wind guy to join with me. He was gonna be a problem. On days 63 to 65, I woke up to an explosion outside of my house. I ran outside and saw Malgog was destroying everything. Stop! I charged at him, wielding my hammer, but I missed. He continued to go through my base and was destroying all of the houses. Tyrion needs one of your scales for his potion. 
Guardian, and I plan on getting that. My scales? No way. I chased after him, using my ice breath to try to slow him down. He then began to slam the ground in front of me, but I was much more prepared for this fight. I fought back using lightning breath, and I could tell it was actually hurting him. He hit me again and was attempting to get one of my scales from me. Back off! You will give me that scale. He turned and saw a group of villagers that were watching. Uh-oh. He rushed at them. All right, fine. I'll give you my scale. Just leave them alone. He agreed. He got the scale and left my base. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Now, Malgog has all the ingredients for his potion. The villagers came up, though, and thanked me for saving them. You were a hero. I'm just sorry for the way I treated you guys before. Don't worry. People grow. Also, crops do, too. That's why we love them so much. Well... At least I felt much better about this decision. On days 66 to 68, my base was still in ruins. I went out and began to collect materials to rebuild it. I collected wood and started to rebuild the villagers' houses as well with them. After I collected a ton of stone, I decided to build a wall around my home. I hope with this, we would have better defenses. As I was finishing, the wind element was suddenly there. Whoa, dude, your base is totally messed up, man. Yes, man. We could have used your help. Don't you see all the destruction that's going on? Yeah, man, but like, you got I should just chill a little. No, not every answer is just chill. It's okay to have things you care about, but for some odd reason, it seems like you're afraid of caring about anything. Afraid? Yeah, right. I'm not afraid of anything. I just, uh, don't what? Care? Yeah, trust me. We all know. And it's affecting all of the innocent people in this world. Think about that. You are the final piece to this puzzle. And it's not getting solved because of your careless actions. So you know what? Just leave. We'll figure out a way to defeat the wizard without you. He didn't say anything. He just looked at me. But I knew he made his decision. So I went inside my home and left him there. Now I have everything I need for my potion! <laughs> On days 69 to 71, I woke up to the sounds of horns at my base. What's that? I rushed outside to see what was going on. It was the Elf King. He approached me with his army of little elves. Hey, Erion, he has everything he needs to complete his potion. Oh no, young dragon. This is troubling news. But there is still hope. The Elf King told me that if the wizard doesn't obtain the heart of the earth, then there's nothing we should fear. Without that, all life on earth is safe. Well, that's good news at least. I then told him about Malgog and how powerful powerful he was. Without the wind element, I don't think I'm going to be able to defeat him. He told me maybe this could help, and he tossed me an elemental shield. We crafted this just for you. Now go. The world depends on you, young dragon. Yeah, you're totally better now. He's not a bad guy. I thanked the Elf King for the shield and set off to find Malgog's lair. As I was flying across biomes, I noticed that more and more of the world was losing its life. I saw a majority of the plains had been converted to dirt, and it was only a matter of time before all of its life was lost. I finally came across a massive structure. This must be his lair. Yep, it's exactly how the Elf King described it. I prepared myself for the battle of a lifetime. On days 72 to 74, I called out for Malgog to face me. He left his base and began to laugh. <laughs> the weak dragon. Time for me to finish you. Malgog started to charge at me and slam the ground in front of me again. Luckily, though, this time, I was able to block some of the damage. I started to fight back, throwing everything I had at him. I was definitely hurting him, but I wasn't sure if it was gonna be enough. Malgog clearly wasn't ready for the fight. He was starting to get angry and hit me really hard, taking away most of my heart. I thought I was more prepared. There's no way I was gonna be able to defeat feed him. Malgog stood over me and prepared to deliver the final hit. You are weak and I am strong. Before he can hit me, he was pushed back by a gust of wind. I turned around and saw the wind element. You're here. John, dude. Thought it was time I started caring about something. He walked over to me and I absorbed his powers once again. I was back into the full elemental dragon. I even had 30 hearts. What? Impossible. He rushed towards me again and I used my ice breath to freeze him in place. I then started to use my fire breath on him. How did you become so powerful? Finally, I used all my elemental powers together and defeated him for good. Thank you so much. Without you, we would have been done for. No, thank you for making me care.
On day 75 to 77, I was flying back to my base over a desert and decided to land to collect sand and sandstone. Since Malgog was defeated and I once again had all my elements, I figured it was a good time to complete the pyramid. I gathered as much sand and sandstone as I could and returned home. I then started to work on it and was able to complete it. Wow, look at that. I placed the pedestal inside the pyramid for the heart of the earth, just like the elf king had told me. As I was finishing, he actually approached me. Yes, young dragon! Congrats! You defeated Malgog! I hated that guy! Now all that is left is to prove your purity to the guardian of the heart of the earth! Oh, I completely forgot about the guardian. They didn't want me anywhere near that place last time. Do you know anything about him? Unfortunately, no one knew anything about what guarded the heart of the earth. No one has even seen him. I thanked him for all of his help. I guess it's time someone finally does. I arrived at the entrance to the vault. I quickly used my fire breath to light one of the pedestals, and then my wind breath. There was a large rumbling and the vault door opened in front of me. I heard the same voice asking me to leave, but I knew I couldn't. I entered the vault and saw the heart of the earth in the center of the room. Before I could grab it, I heard the voice speak again. You think you are worthy to possess this heart? I turned around and saw a large shadowy figure towering over me. Why yes, yes I do, because I want to use it to restore the balance of the earth. Lies. The guardian screeched at me and stepped forward to attack. Before it could reach me, though, the lightning element exited my body and told the guardian to stand down. The guardian faded away. Whoa, thank you. I grabbed the heart and made my way to the exit. Yes, the potion worked. I am young again. I feel so powerful. <laughs> On days 81 to 85, I exited the vault and saw a strange looking person standing in front of me. They looked familiar, but I couldn't tell who it was. Hello, Fozo. Wait, Erion? But you look so much younger. How? He began to launch fireballs at me. I did my best to evade them, but I was trapped. Ow, they hurt so much more. His potion had reversed his age and given him so much more power than before. Luckily, though, I was stronger than I once was, so I was able to take a few hits from him. Give me the heart or die i would never give this to you you're a monster i continued to fight back but it was a losing effort he struck me with another spell and i dropped the heart i felt so weak Erion approached me join me dragon as you once were supposed to assist me and watch the world burn to a crisp it is your destiny no you're wrong it isn't he hit me with another fireball launching me back into the vault he then uses fireballs to collapse the entrance inside. Fine, have it your way. Now, I think I'll pay the elves a visit. I was trapped inside the vault and looked to see if there was any other way out. Nope, the only way out was through the entrance. Okay, come on, Fozo. Come on. I summoned my strength to try to open it, but it didn't work. I can't do this. I'm a failure. All the elements then came out of my body and landed right in front of me. You are no failure. You are the reason we are this far right now. You helped me gain my courage. You helped me gain my happiness. You helped me gain a reason worth fighting for. You are the strongest part about all of us, Bozo. If anyone can get out of here and defeat the wizard, it's you. We believe in you. I absorbed all the elements. They were right. I can get us out of here. I can do this. I used all my elemental power and blasted through the debris. I did it. I actually did it. But I realized it wasn't going to be long before the wizard unleashed his power. I had to go back and talk to the elf king. Thanks, guys. Thanks for believing in me, too. As I arrived, I saw that the elf's base was in total ruins. Oh, no. Did Erion come here first? I landed and began to ask the elves where the king was. One of the elves told me where I can find him, and I rushed off. When I arrived, the elf king lied there on the ground. What happened? He told me that Erion came here and attacked their home, killing many of them in the process. He tried to fight back, but was far too weak to take him on. I'm afraid all might be lost, young dragon. Is there anything that could be done to stop him? Please, there has to be a way. I am not sure, but I'm afraid this is for you to figure out yourself now. I can see the light. It's coming close. Wait, no, that's just the sun. Oh, there we go. The elf king died in front of me. No, the wizard, he's gonna pay for this. Wait, what's that? 
On days 91 to 94, the light dissipated. I looked around and realized all the trees had lost their leaves and the grass was completely converted to dirt. I started to wander through the base and noticed all the elves were gone. The wizard must have used his spell successfully. I flew off toward my home to see if there were any survivors. As I flew, I crossed many biomes that had been turned completely to dirt. I arrived home and saw that all the villagers were gone too. I failed to save everyone in the world. We couldn't make it. But why, guys? Why am I still here? You possess the power of all the elements. I believe we are keeping you alive. Great. Now I get to live in a world with just me and that greedy wizard. What am I supposed to do now? We began to think and realized if the heart of the earth was able to take away life, it might be able to be used to restore it. You know what, guys? I think it's worth a shot. Let's go restore the world. On days 95 to 99, I arrived at the wizard's tower and took him by surprise. He was stunned at first but began to fight back with his spells. I charged him, wielding my hammer and shield and hit him back. This might be my chance to get the heart. He's stunned. I used my ice breath on him and froze him in place. I grabbed the heart and flew as fast as I could back home. Uh, no! I got back to my base and placed the heart of the earth at the center of the pyramid. I then charged all of my elemental powers and used them on the heart. I saw a massive beam of light shoot out of the top of the pyramid. I walked outside and saw all the villagers had been revived. The villagers approached me and asked me what happened. Wait, did we just die or something? No, it doesn't matter because you guys are back. Young dragon, you did it. You really did it. I turned around and to my surprise, the elf king was alive too. I was so thankful to have him back. Together, we will get rid of this wizard for good. No, no impossible. I need to return to my tower. It was day 100 and I arrived at the wizard's tower with the army of elves. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this guy for good! We rushed to get the wizard, but he was prepared. He began to shoot fireballs from the tower, taking out a lot of the elves. Young dragon, you must stop him! We are far too weak! And puny. I told the elves to retreat. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna take care of this wizard. I flew into the air and started to use my elemental abilities on his tower. I wanted to destroy it and force him to fight me on the ground. As I flew around the tower, he shot fireballs at me. I was able to dodge all of them and delivered an elemental blast, taking out the tower. I landed in front of Irion and told him to surrender. You lost and you're far too weak to defeat me now. I will never give up. I am still more powerful than you. We began to battle and I can tell even though he was weakened, he was still not going to go down easily. I bashed him with my hammer and used my shield to block his fireballs. I continued to use my elemental abilities, slowly weakening him. He refused to quit though. He kept fighting. Finally, I hit him with a fire blast and he went down. I charged all of my elemental abilities and used them on him. No! Taking him out for good. And just like that, the world can finally live balanced.